Good morning. We got not a bunch of bags to make, but we got a few to make. We went and picked up, we ordered our 1,000 bags with our company logo on it, 1,000 bulk bags. Up until then, we've been stenciling it on ourselves with, you know, it, it was very <clears throat> inefficient. So it took way too long to do it, and then we couldn't keep up. So we got all these bags. I picked them up yesterday. All right, so we got in here to Grand Prairie, got our bags loaded up. There's uh, five skids of bags. I think there's a thousand, over a thousand bags in there, or a thousand, I don't know. Some say 250, some say 220, so I'm not actually sure how many's in there. So, of course, with everything that's going on, there's not a whole bunch of uh, time to chat with people or, you know. So I just got the pallets loaded up, drove out of the way, strapped them down, and then I was like, yeah, I'll just video a minute of that because nobody wants you hanging around, right? Everyone doesn't, nobody wants to die, so. Anyways, we got them all strapped down, now we're gonna head home. One of the guys that gets a lot of feed here, he brought back 10 or 11 bags, so I'm not gonna tie into my new ones until I get these ones used up. Holy man, that was almost a complete disaster. So I was making bags and I was just like, what is that smell? It smells like oil's getting hot. So I'm like looking around the hammer mill. I mean, there's really, maybe I thought maybe a gearbox, right? And then I was looking up here, I thought, oh, maybe this auger. But then I look over here and it was just like an eruption of oil. So I'm not exactly sure which line blew, but as you can see, that all was spraying right on the turbo, right on the exhaust. So it's pretty much just a miracle that this whole, uh, old girl didn't light right up. So I got to, uh, it seems to be more of an oil bath on this side. So I'm going to pull the hood off. I'm assuming a line blew. Uh, you know, tractor's getting up there in hours. Been outside most of its life, probably its whole life. And uh, you know, I've been rattling around. So lines are going to fail. That's undeniable. But uh, yeah, scary. Like I, I'm. I've never seen uh, like any machinery catch fire but I'm pretty sure this was just minutes away. Uh, I'm not even sure. I mean, there's a there's oil all over the place. Just absolute disaster. It's just dripping, dripping, dripping. So that's uh, probably, I'm gonna pull this over in front of the magic shop. I'll just drag it over there and uh, hopefully it'll be fixed by after lunch. The old magic shop uh, gremlins or elves will come out and they'll repair it and then I'll just, uh, be ready to keep making bags after lunch. So, crazy, crazy. Good thing the door was shut, holy man. Would have just filled right up with oil. Be able to be like, oh, you got any extra oil? I just opened the door and the oil would just run out. So, but I only had one bag left to make, so that's kind of a win, I guess. Hopefully those people don't come today. So what had happened, that one that was leaking today was this one here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, maybe you can't, I don't know. There's a there's a fitting coming up there. So what happened is uh, inside of this, on the, on the end of these kind of fittings, I think they're uh, right there, JIC fittings. So they're flanged, so they fit around this, you know, that, that uh, con, vexed fitting so they're they're flanged to fit over there the one that uh, my dad just ran to town to get a hose made so that uh that flanged area had cracked so it was just spraying straight out of there so it's just sprayed straight out of that fitting right up into the rad then the rad sucked it back in the rad fan 
and blew it all over the cab. <laughs>